by sort of going through my credentials for this debate. Uh, first, I'm from Northern Ireland and from a little county called Tyrone, so I'm well used to masked men policing my reactions. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, I'm a law philosophy student. Those two things seem to be at odds at all, uh, at all points, but I've read a book called The Philosophy of the Dark Knight, so I would refer to myself as a Batmanologist <laughs> if that weren't the most effective form of contraception available. <laughs> probably to too far a degree. Um, in preparing for this debate, I spoke to my last two girlfriends, and they both gave me the same quote. Uh, I'll just read it. His love of Batman was to such a degree that it was detrimental to the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I thought my Batman bed spread added to the relationship, but clearly they did not. But in all seriousness, I'd like to start with an anecdote. I drive my brother home from work every weekend at around 3 a.m. He works as a glass boy in a bar. He's usually very tired by the time he gets in, so he goes straight to bed and switches out the light. In writing this, I was about to say, and that's when I start fighting crime, but I decided to be honest. When he switched out the light last week, I didn't say like a normal person, switch on the light, you little shit, before I trip over the sofa. Instead, I merely looked where I thought he was standing and said, so you think darkness is your ally? Police. 
Now, morally, why would you arrest a fat man? Vigilantism. As I've already proven, Batman does everything the police can't do, and he does it without killing anyone. Even if you wanted to arrest Batman, what would you do? Maybe you could arrest Bruce Wayne, the original Batman. But there are many more bad men. At the end of The Dark Knight Rises, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's Gordon character, he decides to become Batman because systems fail. Batman has undergone so many changes in his, uh, in his crime-fighting career. There have been so many different Batman that he is literally on par with uh, Doctor Who and the IRA. <laughs> so, for my closing statement, I'd just like to say that it would be impossible to arrest Bruce Wayne as Batman. But if you do want to arrest somebody who was Batman, you can arrest George Clooney. Because Batman and Robin was shit. <laughs> Thank you.